it teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts. In other words, separation. We're going to live our lives in this world being called out, being separated out from, from the general tenor of, of the way things go. But positively stated, you see, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Living soberly, not just temperately, is in not drinking, it's not the sense, but wisely. Be wise as serpents, Christ said, and gentle as doves. That's what it is to be sober. It does require wisdom. You're surrounded by people picking and poking at you, and everybody's got something to say, and they're hee-hawing, and, you know, you, you, you've got these, you go, you swing in your emotions. Do I say something here, and you're angry, and then the next thing, well, I won't say anything now, and then you think, well, I'm being quiet now. What are they thinking? It, it requires wisdom to know how to speak, to know how to, how to respond. Like it says in, in Ecclesiastes 3, a time to speak and a time to be quiet. A time to plant, a time to uproot. That requires wisdom as uh, children of the light. But again, where's our resource? Where's our help? The gospel, Christ, what's been revealed. 